back. Time for a little nostalgia. 50 years ago, February 9th, 1964, a band known as the Beatles. Beatles. Wow, they appeared on the Ed Sullivan oh, Show and forever changed popular music. The Sullivan Show employee Vince Calandra was there. He made history that day as well when he was asked to stand in for George Harrison during rehearsal. A lot of people think, what's the big deal? You stood in for him. But yeah, 50 years later. Yeah, it's, I mean, amazing how big that appearance was, what oh, it meant for, in America. God. Tell us a little bit about that day. Why were you asked to stand in for him? <clears throat> well, what happened was uh, they landed on the uh, 7th. That, uh -huh. uh, Pan American Flight 101. I mean, these things are just embedded in my mind. 5,000 screaming kids and the limos going into, into the plaza. I mean, I have stories at the plaza I can, we can get into if, later if you want. But what happened was we found out, the show found out uh, Friday night that George had, was sick and he had a temperature of 102. He had the flu. He was wow. really, really sick. So they said uh, he's probably not, the doctor recommended that he did not come to the rehearsal on Saturday. What happened was I came the usual time. Uh, they told us not to drive our cars into town because of the 5,000 kids, police barricades, uh, cops on horseback. I mean, it was just a scene out of, it was wow. unbelievable, like the War of the Worlds. So uh, I, I took the subway in. I don't know if I was living in Brooklyn or Long Island then. Uh, I came up and I went to the theater, uh, into the Sullivan Theater, which was, then Studio 50, and I on a Saturday was kind of a casual day for us. Yeah. But that day, I wore a black suit with a white shirt, a black tie, because I was going to the theater that night to see Oliver, who were on the show the next night, you know, with the contracts sure. and yeah. dances. So I was in the control room, just taking notes, and all of a sudden, they're out there ready to perform, and Neil Aspinall, the stage manager, their stage manager, went out there with George's guitar. He no sooner opened his mouth and all of a sudden, Brian Epstein came running over and said, whispered something, and he said, I have to go, I have to be out of here. What had happened was, there were two stories. One is that they would not let Louise Harrison, uh, George's sister, into the hotel. Because she went to the security and uh -huh. said, you know, I'm George's sister, uh, sister. I just sure. came in from Illinois. And the, the policeman said, yeah, you and 1,000 1, other women had told me the same yeah. story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing was, my version was that they were going to be thrown out of the hotel it's because th what happened was they had these five thousand kids screaming, "We love Ringo," the singing, and the Beatle mania thing with Capitol Records with the Beatle wigs and the, st uh, the yeah. stickers and everything. What happened was these. I mean, middle-aged, you know, people well-dressed, the Plaza Hotel. I always think of the Plaza Hotel of Barbara Streisand, Robert Redford, mm -hmm. the blonde hair, you know, the whole yeah. thing, the way we sure. were. Yeah. Well, it was pandemonium. All these kids, taxi cabs, kids were actually paying cab, cab drivers to drive around the block and run out and, and, and just to get into the hotel. Yeah, but you now you're you're on stage though, and they come and they ask you to take the. You're on the stage at the end. Right, all right, theater, all right. Now right? I'm on the okay, stage. Okay, and they, they hand you his guitar. They hand me the guitar. And they told you very specifically not to drop it, well, right? Not only yeah. that, they told me not they to move. You, they gave you rules. Yeah, they, right? I was rules. Okay. They, so, the guy looked like Woody. I mean, yeah. like six <laughs> two, big you know, big guy. His name was Mal Evans, the sweetest teddy bear, like Woody. And you know, and he stood there and he said, uh, "I just want to tell you that." Uh, this is George's favorite guitar. He said, and please, he said, don't play with the strings, don't play with this, don't play with that. And by the way, try not to drop it. Okay, okay. so I'm standing there. Now I'm like a statue. But do they play the music? Do you actually oh, go yeah. to the rehearsal? Oh, yeah. I sang, they it. sang they three songs. Yeah, I'm there's singing. there's a okay. picture of me with the wig oh, off. Oh, my goodness. You know? that? That's me and that's oh, Paul and I, who I hadn't seen in oh, 50 my goodness. years. Okay, I don't uh -huh. get the other picture of me standing in, actually standing in with them. Wow. There, right Did there. Did they make That's you wear the wig? Well, what happened? This is what happened. This is what, what happened. Okay. I'm standing there, ready to go. You look so cute. Look at you. I was okay. twenty. I was twenty-nine years old. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be eighty years old. I was twenty-nine wow. years old. You look great. <laughs> okay. What do you remember, Vince? What do you remember about them as people, not as as yeah, musicians? As my my impression right away was they were very likable, uh -huh. and they and they did not take this. Serious, were really. They, polite? they were great question. They were extra polite. What happened was 
when they started playing, well, what happened with the wig was they put it on Sullivan. They all laughed, and Sullivan came over and put it on my head, which I was embarrassed. But the thing, the thing that impressed me about them, how professional they were, was that, you know, they were there for purpose, you know. They wanted to conquer America. And Paul and John and Ringo, the reactions when they put the wig on my head was not, yuck, 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 this is really funny. It was like, okay, guys. You took it seriously. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah they, right they, away you got the, the feeling thing. like, hey, you know, let's get Respect. down to business. Yeah. Yeah. Enough of this foolishness, you know, with the stand-in and everything else. So all of a sudden they, uh, uh, they started playing and I stood there for exactly 12 minutes like a statue. I did not open my mouth. I was scared to touch. And don't forget, those days there were only like three amplifiers with plug in. They didn't even plug my guitar in. Yeah, but think about the significance of it because you, you didn't know like the next day when they actually did it on the Ed Sullivan right. show, they had what, 73 million viewers? Yeah, seven, yeah which it was the highest rating in the history of television, oh, except maybe for Cinderella. I'm not sure, but 73 million people watched the show that night.